Bonia pharmacist is thanking the police department for catching robbers who stole more than $100,000 worth of prescription pills. Those drugs never made it to the streets, but police say if they did, it could have easily killed someone. A Ray Strickland spoke with the owner of the pharmacy and police about the robbery that was also caught on video. He joins us from Professional Center Drive in Laurel Park in Livonia. We played a major role in the community during COVID. Ray's Drugs and Medical Supplies in Livonia opened a few years ago. A lifesaver for many in the area. The small mom and pop pharmacy offers low cost prescriptions. And that helps us build a better reputation. But those same medications made Ray's the target of three robbers in an incident that happened around 5.30 p.m. last Friday. I never imagined something like this would happen in Livonia. Surveillance video shows the moment three suspects entered the pharmacy. They asked me for literally the good stuff. Jumping over the counter, assaulting owner Khalil Shaheen, before getting away with at least 150 prescription pill bottles. But I'm glad they didn't end up on the streets. Mm -hmm. That's all I can tell you is that I, I'm so happy they didn't end up on the streets. Shaheen thanks the Livonia Police Department for their quick actions that prevented the stolen drugs from being sold on the streets. Police responded to the pharmacy within five minutes of the robbery. Video shows when they first spotted the stolen Kia, the suspects were driving. All three were captured after leading police on a chase. Dwayne Brown, Quentin Bridges, and Alonzo White are now facing felony charges. When sold on the street, they're worth a lot of money. I mean, each pill individually is worth anywhere from 10 to $20. Um, what you've seen here is probably worth $150 to $250,000 if you, you know, separated each pill and it was sold individually on the street. And this incident comes after there were two pharmacies targeted by robbers about a week ago in Dearborn Heights. Livonia police say they don't believe that these are connected, but they also say they're not ruling anything out. Reporting in Livonia, Ray Strickland, CBS News, Detroit.